Garth Crooks has been following recent events at Old Trafford. Seven days can be a long time in football. Just ask Manchester United. Last Saturday, they put four past Sunderland, setting a new Premiership goal-scoring record and edging themselves towards another championship. They could seal it this afternoon at Southampton, bringing the earliest conclusion to the title race since the Premiership began. Back to David Beckham. Whipped in. Oh, Sorensen's has lost it. It's Henning Berg. It's United's fourth. And they are now threatening once again to cut loose. Or so everyone thought. But on Wednesday night, it was United who were losing their grip on the European Champions Cup as Real and Raul stunned Old Trafford. You felt that possibly that Real Madrid were destined to beat us. I just got that feeling. One with some good chances over there. We didn't play particularly well, but great chances to score the goal would have mattered. And they came here and they played a system which didn't deserve to win with one centre midfield player, three centre backs and two wing backs. It showed great belief in what they were doing. Put some good football. Got the break with the own goal, obviously. And I just get a feeling that it was Real's day. I thought they were bumbling along. Every game we'd watched them, the opponents were making seven, eight chances a game. And their young goalkeeper had been unbelievable in every game. You say to yourself, can a young goal at 16 retain that, that consistency? And that was a remarkable thing of the two ties. I thought their goalkeeper was absolutely incredible. Now, your sixth title in eight seasons beckons. It's inevitable. But is it cold comfort, bearing in mind what's happened? Well, I think it's, um, oh, yeah, I think it's worthwhile. It's marvellous. It turns out a marvellous season for us. At the end of the day, I've always worked in the, the maxim that win a trophy a year particularly the major trophies. If it's the championship, fantastic. If you add, if you got the last season, the European Cup, well, marvellous. If you win the FA Cup, what a great day everyone gets. So you can't uh, dismiss the winning of a trophy. This is, you know, that's what I'm here for. And planning has already started for next season with the imminent arrival of Ruud van Nistelrooy from PSV. Though yesterday morning, Sir Alex was reluctant to confirm British football's record transfer. First of all, is it true? Well, I, you tell me. The, the, I mean, I think you've got in the modern day game, the minute a player becomes available, Manchester United's name's linked. With Rivaldo, Figo, Clivert, the, the front three of Barcelona, Van Nusteroy, a dozen of them, Buffon, Turam, Batistutis coming tomorrow. What do you do? I can't ask, uh, ask, uh, spec, uh, answer the speculation that goes on. It wasn't seen as speculation in Holland, where the 23-year-old striker was looking forward to justifying his reported £19 million price tag. Uh, I hope I'm worth it. Uh, I have to prove it. Um, I want to become a better player and I want to show, show my qualities uh, at Manchester. And um, if you're worth it, uh, we will see that. But it's not, uh, I don't think in amounts. I, I think in, uh, in, in quality and playing good games and scoring goals. So uh, that's what I'm hope, trying to do next year. Last season's Dutch Player of the Year averages a goal a game and would be a mouth-watering addition to the United strike force. But speaking later yesterday, Sir Alex still appeared cautious. I can only say to you that, that um, this was supposed to be some, you know, arrangement. Nothing should be said when you're negotiating things. But uh, we're expecting the boy to arrive next week. I'm not saying anything because there's a lot to be done, decided. The players, we've got to see the player first. Why has Alex been so guarded about?